Hello, welcome to another showcase video. This one is on um, a terrain video and it's uh, covering my 20mm um, African terrain. Um, the way uh, that I've sort of I've done this, I went, uh, normally I'm a sort of a terrain tile sort of person, however um, I come across a company called Geek Villain who do um, the, the sort of war game mats they do like a, a fleece version uh and the one i uh i got to just sort of see what they're like was uh, rocky grass um it's it's they're actually really good i was quite impressed so um for me african terrain what i tend to do is i'll have this um six by four terrain mat which i lay down and then i have uh uh lie down terrain that goes obviously on the top of it um the majority of well all of it's basically scratch built um i want it sort of it's not africa city africa or built up africa it's obviously um the countryside out in the um out in the bush so uh native crawls cockatoos um and trees uh so that's that's what that's um where we are uh as i said the majority of stuff i've had a scratch built because there wasn't you know you couldn't buy the stuff that I was that I was after, um, so that's that's where we are. So what we'll do, we'll go um, down to the bench now uh, and have a look at the stuff. Right, this is just a, a general view over a, a table setup using the Geek Villain Rocky Grass Mat uh, view of the crawl here, um, just so you can see uh, the various uh, the various bits and pieces. Um, uh, I use like a lay down method for for the African board. It was just uh, it was just easier that way. Right. So this is the um, African native crawl that I built. Um, basically, how I made it. Uh, these are resin uh, huts that are altered slightly. It's on an MDF. Uh, 2 millimeter MDF base, circular base. Uh, the Palisade Defense is actually from IKEA. It's one of the sort of placemats, reed placemats, which I just cut up and basically uh, glued to the base. Uh, and the other things are basically scratch built. So that this is um, Will's Fine Cast Plastic Wrigley Tin. Uh, fencing done the same way. Um, turn it round and let you see sort of over here I'll uh, see if I can zoom in a little bit there's some um, uh, some tools that uh, that I've attached on the plastic that might even be a fix uh, and some obviously just some tufts for the uh, for the vegetables for the crops um, I made a little sort of pig pen area over here uh, this obviously just scratch built and again balsa uh, Will's fine class wiggly tin uh, and some of their uh, the rustic fencing. I think this is the Will's rustic fencing here, um, and just painted my normal method. Did a sort of fire pit in the centre, um, and that's basically uh, that's basically it. If I was doing a second one, uh, uh, maybe wouldn't do a sort of a round um, a round fence. Might do it a more of an irregular shape. Um, but that's just sort of uh, me thinking, you know, uh, thinking to do another one. Um, so in all, I was quite pleased with it. it's ideal size for twenty millimeter, so it's not too big. Plenty of space to put figures in. Right, and this was me attempt at uh, sort of Rhodesian South African cop trees, which are the sort of the rocky outcroppings. It's obviously just cork, dirt cheap. I think I got it at a model railway shop years and years ago. Uh, again, MDF base, just glued on, dry brushed up, normal sort of terrain and with static grass and uh, uh, clump foliage and what have you. Uh, this is rubberized horse here, the green stuff. Relatively straightforward, just dry brushing, uh, gluing the stuff to it. Not uh, not particularly hard. I've got maybe four or five of these that you can just... Uh, Chuck round just to to break the line, uh, break the line aside. Up. Right, and this is uh, 
and attempted a, an African tree, so I tried to go for that. I'm not sure what they what they what they're called. I've I've read it somewhere, I can't remember. They sort of have like they grow up and then flatten out a bit towards the top. So this actually is one of the Woodland Scenic uh, plastic tree armatures. Uh, quite good, very cheap, you can bend them. And obviously this is just the clump foliage. I've shoved it on a two pence piece for a little bit of weight. Um, tend to do me trees grey rather than, obviously there is a tendency for people to paint tree trunks brown, but when you look at them, they're not really brown. Uh, definitely grey is the way to go. Um, and as I've said, just the clump foliage on, uh, fixed with um, thin down white glue, and they're fairly, uh, they're fairly robust. Right, so this is the system that I use for a sort of scrub and uh, close um, close to rain. I've got a, a load of these templates. They're just two millimeter MDF, cut into regular shapes, uh, textured. Um, and uh, how I use them, basically, these are the areas of um, of scrub or cover. So you can scatter these in various places all over the table uh, at different distances, and then you can just put either trees or tufts on to symbolize what they are. This allows you to um, obviously to place the figures on, and when the figures are on the template, that's when they're in the cover. Obviously, I'd like nothing better than to so ha sort of have highly detailed close terrain. The problem with doing that is that it's uh, you can't position the figures. So this is the sort of, uh, it's not ideal, but it's um, it's uh, it, it's probably the best of uh, the best of, bo of both worlds. Okay, so that's how I uh, that's how I do that. Right, that's me. Uh, short but sweet African terrain uh, in twenty millimeter video. Um, as normal, any questions at all? Uh, how I've done it, what I've used, just drop a message uh, and I'll do my best to answer you. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up uh, and like it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, have a think about subscribing. Uh, you can do that from the main channel page. Or alternatively, you can click the um, button, the small button, which is in the bottom right hand corner at the end of the video, uh, disguised as an Empress 20mm modern British infantryman. Um, up next, um, I'm not uh, quite sure. This, I think, has gone live on the boat, uh, maybe it's the 1st of August, or maybe it's a little bit later, I'm not sure. Um, uh, so I'm going to think what what we're going to do i've got lots of options um and we'll just uh we'll pick up I'll, I'll think of something uh and that'll be obviously show his videos on mondays so that's what we'll do um so once again thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time